Sarah Hansfield. I am a professor of elementary literacy and bilingual education in the School of Teaching and Learning at Illinois State University. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about my research and my research interests. You'll see the photo in back of you is a picture of one of my co-researchers, a fourth grade teacher, Patricia Valente. She now works in Rantoul, Illinois. So my research focuses uh, broadly on literacy instruction and language in multilingual classrooms. More specifically, I explore students and teachers positioning and identities um, as they're engaged in literacy instruction. In addition to that, I research how teachers negotiate multiple and often conflicting political and ideological demands in their work. My work is generally informed by critical socio-cultural and post-structuralist theories. These prompt me to question power relationships and to engage in classroom research with teachers and not on teachers. I really became interested in teacher identities and positioning when I was a fourth grade bilingual teacher in the 1990s. I was really curious as to why some teachers seemed to be more uh, responsive to emergent bilingual students' cultural and linguistic strengths and needs than other teachers. And that really ultimately led me to explore teacher histories, identities, and positioning, particularly in classroom instruction. Methodologically, I draw from a variety of traditions, um, somewhat from participatory action research. So I myself will participate in a classroom along with the students and the teacher. Also teacher inquiry. So a lot of my research and my research with Patricia Valente is a good example of this. The classroom teacher themselves has also determined some goals for inquiry and their instruction. And so all of this also goes along with classroom-based research. My data generation is typically naturalistic. And um, in terms of data analysis, um, I use qualitative methods. I use microethnographic approaches uh, to detail participants' discursive positioning. So this involves classroom talk, but it also goes beyond language. It includes gestures and body movements, gaze, movement across classroom spaces, and it also includes material resources in the classroom and how those play into instruction and positioning. You know, in terms of the impact um, of my work, because I work with teachers in classroom spaces and with students, and when teachers are actively trying to adapt their instruction in real time, the impact, I believe, of my research is often quite immediate, right? Ultimately, my goal is to support teachers in considering their in-the-moment instruction and how they negotiate the complexities of their work. And so, you know, while the impact is often immediate for those classrooms themselves, I think the implications of my work also apply uh, more broadly. Um, I, I've got here for you just a, a list of some selected publications of mine. I have published my work in both practitioner journals and in research journals, and, and have also authored and co-authored a couple of books. So if you're interested in my work, I would encourage you to check these out. In just another month or so, so in March 2021, um, Patricia Valente and I will have an article coming out in Language Arts in which we interrogate positioning in small group comprehension instruction. If you would like to reach out to me, you can see my email address there. Feel free to contact me, and uh, I'd love to hear about your work as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm.